Hi, I'm Michael, and in today's five minute video, I'm gonna show you how to draw this. It's a 20 sided dice, but its real name is an isosahedron. And what we're going to do to accomplish that is use something called the golden ratio. Now, the golden ratio is 1.61821 and is used in all sorts of different things. But how we're going to use it today is we're going to draw three rectangles, one on each plane, and then we're going to join the outermost corners of those, which is going to give us the 20 sided dice or the isosahedron. And let's get started with that. Now, the first thing we're going to do is rectangle and we're going to draw a center rectangle. You see it there, right? We're going to start from the center and move out to the corners. Now you'll see the one side is 100 already. The other one we're going to make 161.8. Now, as I said, it's a ratio of 1.618 to 1. And the reason here is I'm using 100 over here, so I need to move the decimal two spaces, so I'm getting 161.8. And that gives me the first one. We're going to stop that sketch, start the second sketch, and we're going to do it on this plane. And you can see there the rectangle that's already drawn is lengthways, so we need to uh, draw this in the other direction. And again, we're going to go to center rectangle over here so we're going to do uh, 100 that way and 161.8 that way if you look at that there you can see there's a second one stop the sketch do a third one and we're going to do it on this plane over here and again center rectangle from there and it needs to go this way. So 100 there, tab 161.8 over there, stop the sketch. And there you go. Those are the basics of what we're going to be using here today. So all right, gonna do another sketch and this time we're gonna use lines. And we're gonna go from there go back to here to there to there and then you can see it actually starts filling in those triangular lines that's better from there to there to there and you can see it closes it up I see I've got one long one through there. So if I escape like there, that line is incorrect. So I'm going to take that one, take it out, and go back in and then just draw the correct line. So if you find a line that shouldn't be there, just go out of it, delete the line, and go back into it. I think that's all of them. Okay, then under the sketches, uh, let's see, I did. Okay, as I turn the other sketches off, makes it easier to see the others. And I see that one line I deleted was actually part of the sketch, but that's fine. Right, so. After we've done that, we
Okay, so in case you're not following what I'm doing, I'm clicking on the section, I'm right clicking, I'm going to press pull, and I'm going to grab that arrow and I'm simply just going to drag it into the model. The idea is to drag it to about the center, and you want to get a few of them at least past the center, around 100 in this case is enough. And you can see because it's red there, it wants to cut. So I'm changing it from cut to join, hitting OK, and that basically does it. OK, one more time, select it, right click, press pull, move it into it, tell it that I want to join, and there you go. Now we can turn the sketch off over here. And that is your isosahedron. All done. Right, so for extra credit, if you wanted to add text to that, you would select sketch, text, click on it. I'm guessing that would be side one. Uh, let's make it around 55. Drag it to the middle. Okay, stop the sketch and then drag it in a bit and those you are going to cut to add them into it. And that's the way you add your text to it. So you then go around, add whatever text you want on there and um, as you would have seen in my example, it doesn't have to be just the numbers. I put the first 20 elements of the periodic table on there and um, yeah, that, that's fun, easy, prints really, really nicely, and um, something useful to use. So there you have it, a quick and easy isosahedron. And if you don't want to draw it yourself, it is possible to just go and use it as a standard model in Tinkercad, but this way you're actually learning something. And if you enjoy learning, please like and subscribe to the channel, and by all means share this with your friends on social media. Thank you very much. See you next time.